Hi everybody, welcome back to Beast Mode Series Episode 11 with Finding Nemo, Nemo's Ocean Discovery. And we're going on to difficult level and things get more a little bit difficult and a little bit complicated. But there's special animals in Nemo's there. Dad Marlin is the bravest dad ever. Which is good. He and there's the entire tropical ocean animals as well. Find his son. Now Nemo wants to go on an ocean adventure too. Mr. Ray, I want to go on an adventure just like my dad. Ah, learning about the wonders of the ocean. Well, hello, explorers. I'm aboard. Collect these bubbles, and I'll help you learn some fun ocean facts. Next stop, knowledge. Okie dokie. Here we go with an adventure. adventure. First level, reef exploration. Off we go. Next stop, Knowledge! Let's learn lots of stuff about life in the sea! Find as many question marks as you can. Press enter to dash and burst the bubbles. Collect the Explorer Logbook stars to learn some fun facts for Mr. Ray. Off we go. I wonder uh, what's this animal? This animal is an aquatic snail with a shell that is broadly conical in shape and a strong muscular foot. Also, they are members of the class Gastropoda. They are polyphyletic, um, meaning the various groups which are referred to as they have descended independently from different and central gastropods. And it lives on the rock at the, at the seaside as well. So this animal is... Limpet. This is a limpet. A good looking limpet. You've got one more item in the Explorer Logbook. They come in different colours as well, but only blue and white, basically. They stick to the rock. Which is good. So, next animal. This is a big animal. And it's very similar to an animal that has lots of teeth. This is a species of whipped cream animal in the family car 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 Hyundai. In, that inhabits deep waters in the world's temperature and tropical oceans. Preferring cooler waters, waters they migrate in long distances, such as from New England to South America. The species is this as near threatened by the IUCN. That's a previous shit, that is. And I can't remember what that is. So, this animal is a blue shark. Ooh. I don't like sharks, they're very scary, you know. Oh, the rocks are moving down very fast. Watch out for fish that are stuck in traffic. They're coming smalls as well. They're only in difficult levels. So anyway, let's move on to the next animal. Ooh. Now, what do we found here? Ooh. I think this is shaped like a medium-sized rainfish. Normally with large heads and tapered bodies, uh, bodies uh, which are found in marine, brackish, and freshwater environments. That is a common name for many species. So this animal is... Goby. A goby. Very Great similar to... Go goblin day. Oh, which is similar to goby. Hmm, that's a very interesting animal, that is. Now, I wonder what is this animal? This animal is um, similar to um, a swordfish, but very different. They come out of the water by uh, diving up and down. Um, um, let me tell you all about it. It's a ge this is a genius, um, it's a forest of billfish living in colder areas of all the sea of the earth. They are uh, predominantly um, blue to grey in colour and have a characteristic dorsal fin known as a sail, which often stretches the entire level of the black. They can do that just like a dolphin who, uh, who uh, jumps out of the water by going up and down. So, this animal is... Sailfish! A sailfish! Oh, they have a sharp... Uh, they have a sharpie horn in the in the front. That's his mouth. Item in oh, look out! That was good timing. 
Now, on to the next animal. Hmm. Off we go. Hmm. Let me tell you about, um, this animal. This animal is a common name for any other group of small to very large sea snails. Marie gastropods mollusks in the family Hyliotidae. Other common names are ear shells, sea ears, and mutton fish and mutton shells in Australia. Or order in England, and that's in dad. South Africa, and in New Zealand, Poa. They are marine snails, and the, and the name of the creature that's in South Africa is Abalone. Abalone has different names, basically. Which is good, of course. Come from England and yeah, Australia. Right which is amazing, I'll say. Now, on to the next animal. Mmm! Look at that animal! This is one of my favourites, second favourites, along with clownfish. This animal is a tropical fish, and it's a reference to the movie Finding Somebody that Morning and Nemo are on a quest with her to find their parents. Over in Cle Ohio, Cleveland, where she rests friends with Hag and Bailey, and the one with uh, who friends with uh, with us Pipe Pals. Destiny. That's Destiny, apparently. So, this animal is has a dorsal fin, and is a freshwater fish, and they belong to the Indo-Pacific. They have a good hiding location against the alongs the living rock. So this animal is regal blue a tag. regal blue tag, one of my favourites, a second favourite because it reminds me of Dory from Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. I do love Finding Dory. Finding Dory is the best film yet, where Dory goes to the aquarium to find their parents, which would be great because it's their hometown. Now. What is this animal? This is a this animal has a remarkable ability to expand this body extremely quickly when faced with danger, unraveling and it is a long poisonous spikes that covered its body. That's very dangerous with long poisonous spikes. If a fisherman catches a puffer fish, they will never touch the spikes as they have uh, uh, toxic to us, the humans and animals. And I accidentally revealed the clue, and I'm sorry if I did that, so this animal is the puffer fish. I'm sorry if I revealed the clue. But, that was a good try, really. A puffer fish, of course, it even reminds me of somebody who lives in a tank, where Nemo's friends with. Apparently, when Marlin is crawling across the ocean to find his son, while riding on Nigel's mouth, with Dory. Ooh, I wonder what is this animal? This animal is a species to extremely flattened boring sea urchins belonging to the order Chi Clypisteroidea. Some species within the order not as quite as fat are known as sea biscuit. So this um, animal is a sand dollar. It can barely move, but not really moving, but wiggling against it. By wobbling. That's all that I can say. Oh dear, look out for traffic fish. Ooh, what is this animal? I wonder what it could be. This animal is a species and it is found in the Indo Pacific just like the regal blue tag. It's from the Red Sea and off East Africa as far east as the Tuama Mutu Islands, north to south of Japan and south to the Austria Islands. And it often reminds me of Tad from Finding Nemo, one of Nemo's friends. So this animal that Tad is, that's a fish. butterfly fish. And the Tad is a good friend apparently to Nemo Glory. and Pearl the jellyfish and also Sheldon, of course. Hmm, I wonder what is this animal? Hmm, this animal is an, uh, has an elongated body containing a single branch gonad and they are found in the sea floor worldwide. And they have a leathery skin as well. And they are marine animals. So, do you know who it could be? And this, this animal is... A sea cucumber. A sea cucumber is a reference to 
cucumbers out loud, but they're very different colors. Sea cucumbers are kind of black. Welcome basically. So we know, um, so what's ocean theft? Ray again. Giant squid can grow to be longer than a boat. Impressive. Very good. Someone has laid upstream to lay their eggs, and the squid squirts ink to hide its escape from predators. And they have prickly quills to defend itself with puffer fish, so we have to watch out. And don't touch them. And I, we know that the octopus has eight legs. And they have and seahorses have giant clumps of seaweed. Some seahorses look like clumps of seaweed. Something like that are very similaristic to that. A scallop that... A scallop moves by clapping the two sides of its shell together. That we know about, of course, in the easy level. But thank you for telling us again for that, Mr. Ray. And the jellyfish is 95% water, and the flounders of fish is the same side as its head. So now, it's time for Moonfish Agility Training, with a difficult pattern with fish moving quickly. Press enter so, the right time off we go. Through the fish without touching them. Wow! So, first one is done. The second skill is completed. Good observation of this. Hmm. Right. Think about it. Perfect spot. And they're moving around in a circle again. We did it! Great job, Nemo! Two more to go. They're in a circle again! That's very practical! Ow. Oh wait, that's not it. Ow. No. This is getting hard and I don't know where it's landing to. Just almost, Nemo. We've almost one fish that just hit. Now, think carefully. Perfect! Yeah. 25 points in total we scored. Phew. That was a close call, I'll say. This is your score. We're doing well, of course, with 25 points. So now it's time for East Australian Current. The East and that's going to be the next part. Current. And we're doing shape matching. Are you we're sure matching you the oval on the top of the screen. So thanks for watching, guys, with Reef Exploration and Moonfish and Energy Trading. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you later where we're doing shape matching while Nemo is riding to the EAC with Crush. So, see you soon. Bye!